Welcome to Texas Trade Days LLC Vendor Learning Series. This is Kristen and I'll be showing you in this video how to add a Facebook event to your Facebook business page. First you'll want to go over to the business page that you want to add the events from. In our case it would be Texas Trade Days LLC. You'll scroll down to the events tab and the pages menu tab click on it and it will take you to the list of upcoming events and you can scroll down and also see a list of past events as well you can click on the event link here and go directly to the event and then from here you can proceed in, on to adding the event to your Facebook business page however if you're using multiple if you're adding multiple events to your Facebook business page do this instead go back to the events list then hover over the name of the event with your right mouse button click that event a pop-up window will appear and then click on link and open link and new tab then your website browser go above and click on that new tab that just opened this will keep the events tab list of events tab open as well as allow you access into each individual Facebook event without having to leave this events list and you don't have to worry about switching back and forth so while you're inside a Facebook event that somebody else has already created and you want to add that official event to your Facebook business page go down to the events menu bar you'll see the option to select going interested or not going and then you'll see share where you can invite friends share in messenger or share as a post but you also see the three menu dots click on that to open up the menu then scroll down to add a page then a window will appear stating adding a back to school market Pasadena trade dates will include it on your pages event which page do you want to add this event to so then you click on select a page and then you scroll down to the page you wish to add the event to in this case I'm going to be adding it to purple jewel boutique Purple Jewel Boutique is also owned by our co-owner Carol and she's going to be bringing her boutique to an, our upcoming markets this weekend so she requested that I go ahead and add these to her Facebook business page and said I could use her as an example for this video so big shout out to Carol with Purple Jewel Boutique I'm also an admin on her page mom likes me to do these things for her so once you've selected the page that you want to add the event to click add event now take you over to the page and then you'll see it in the upcoming events when you're done close out the window or the tab and then you'll go back to the other event you wanted to add to so just right click on the event name then click on open link and new tab switch over to the new tab and do the same thing click on the three dots go to add to page select a page then add event double check to make sure that the events are there and now you've learned how to add an official Facebook event that is not yours to your Facebook business page now this is different than creating an event I know many vendors will like to create an event because they don't know how to add an event to their page 
And in some cases, you can't find an official Facebook event by the host of the event. So sometimes you would have to create an event. But in the cases where you can find an official Facebook event created by the host, you can definitely add it and it's highly suggested that you add that to your Facebook page. Reason being is that Facebook automatically shares new events to the timeline of all of your likes and all of your followers. So it will also go on to the calendars as well and it will show it's you. you your page will be attending that event. So it's an automatic advertising that you're going to be at that event. Now it only shows up for a period of time and then once that period ends and then nobody will see it again. It's just the way the newsfeed works. But you can always go back and share that event to your page. So let's do that now. Oh, let's do it in chronological order. I like to do that. So when you're scrolling. So let's do that. So I'm going to click on King with Trade Days. I'm going to click on Share. And I'm going to click on Share as Post. Okay. At the top of the pop-up window is an actual menu. See the little upside down triangle? That also shows that there's a menu there. And there's also the edit icon as well. So click on that and then scroll down to share on a page you manage. Then you just select the page you want to show it on. And then you can type something here or not and just leave it as it is. Then once you do this, then it will show on your page's wall. So anybody who visits you will not only see the upcoming events section of your Facebook business page, but they'll also see this individual post. We're going to click post. We're going to go back. We're going to do that for the other one, too. Same thing. Click on share. Share as post. Share on a page you manage. Select the page you want to share it to. Type whatever you'd like to type in the field box above and then click post. So now let's go back to the page you manage. In this case it'll be Purple Jewel Boutique. And you'll see we're on the home screen. This is the main screen of the Facebook business page. You'll see the list of upcoming events just above the photos you see recent posts and there's both of our events here so there you go it's as easy as that thank you so much to purple jewel boutique and carol for allowing me to use them as a use her boutique as a demonstration for this video to show you how to add an event to your facebook business page uh, please visit their website uh, or their Facebook business page at facebook.com forward slash Purple Jewel Boutique. They're also on Etsy where their online shop is at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Purple Jewel Boutique. I'll put the links down in the description of this video. And I appreciate all of you being here. If you have any takeaways, please drop them down in the comments below. If you have any other tips and tricks about the events and how to add them to your page, feel free to let us know and, and start a discussion about this down in the comments of the video. I hope this video has served you well.